most caravans there's a three system to burning wood. Obviously if you're going to be off grid you want to be using natural resources which is trees, uh, bushes, uh, but it all needs to be very dry. So this is something really nice technique I picked up. Underneath you can see all the stored bits of wood and there are stones so you put a nice layer of stone which keeps it off the wet soil and any little uh, little rivers you might have in very wet days like today so if I bring you around here it's all there all the stick pull them out and you've got loads of dry wood as long as it's been left there well it obviously depends on your seasoning but um, you know as long as you've it's been dead for um, you know uh, four or five months and then you put it under there for six seven days you'll get rid of the extra moisture or any rainwater that's on them and that will allow them to dry um, burn a lot better start with um, different systems but obviously having the longer sticks under the caravan keeping dry with the air coming under them is a great idea um, then you can cut them up using various techniques I'll show you a brilliant one I've just learned called gypsy sawing then they can go into the box or under the bed in the um, in the caravan so this is our box of goodies we've got a bit of kindling there that goes in the fire first then you start with your smaller sticks move up a little bit let that take so you've got a nice hot fire then you start putting on your big pieces let's go inside the caravan see what's going on in here Okay, we're gonna to have to be a little bit quick here because the moisture in the caravan is um, quite a lot, so the camera lens may move. So, next to the burner, we have our lovely burner coming all the way up, out of the room. I have been given, it's not my system, three system. You've got your paper to go in first, You've got your nice dry kindling, which ideally has been there for a couple of days. So naturally the dryness of the caravan will um, help that to go. And then you've got your larger bits here. So nice. We're using lots of roadie at the moment. Roadie is an invasive species in this part of Scotland. Um, so yeah, really depends on what you can get. Woods do burn differently. They've all got very different properties. So if you're going to live off grid in the colder months, you don't need a fridge or a freezer if you're in Scotland like we are at the moment uh, nice and easy you can have a bag and just store your dairy products meats um, anything really just hang them outside nice and cold in the shade you can open the door when the log burners on reach outside and get beautifully refrigerated food 